What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kim Wilde. Once again, shout out to Mark, and we're gonna listen to another tune from her 1981 self-titled album as Luca decides what she wants to do. Does she wanna knock everything down? Does she wanna go over there? I guess the latter is the choice. And yes, Young Heroes, it's a phrase which sounds like a film, it sounds like maybe a sitcom or an adventure show for children or for young people. I suppose it could have a very specific and perhaps deep cultural or social meaning. The idea of young people being the harbingers of change, the um, animating spirit that drives a nation or even the human race forward and which can break through ossified and antiquated ways of being. Are you really going to cause problems? I think she might. Nevertheless, I'll see what I can pick up on a first listen. Let's hear it. This is Kim Wilde. The track is Young Heroes, and it's from her 1981 self-titled album. <laughs> I, I do feel like there was some of that sentiment I was thinking, the idea of young people not just wanting to be exactly like their parents or the older generation, wanting to do their things uh, or things their own way, though in some cases maybe being forced into those life ways or modes of behavior by an older generation. And there's that tension where they are essentially doing what they're told, but they also don't want to do that all the time. And so eventually they get to a point where they just they're going to do things their own way despite protestations of their parents or 
um, elder figures. So, yeah, I feel like there is maybe a generational divide being discussed in the song, but it sounded like you were young heroes, not we are young heroes. Maybe I'm wrong about that. And then secondarily, it's like he doesn't want to be like him and she doesn't want to be like me. So I feel like there's still finer distinctions being drawn that I'm not quite sure about. The music, it's, you know, very kind of early, like, synth rock type, you know, keyboard rock type of feel. It's got some heavy guitar in it, or at least, you know, some rockin' guitar. It also has that major keyboard flavor, especially in the chorus. The chorus was a bit, like, peppy, happy, you know, not, maybe not the, the atmosphere that I would expect in a song that's about a gener generational distinction where it might be a bit more gritty or a bit more angsty, perhaps. Um, but that brief, slowed down interlude with those echoed guitar strings sort of scratches, that was fantastic. It didn't last very long. It was maybe like five to 10 seconds at most. But just in that moment, I was really taken by the sudden shift. And I wish maybe more of the track had had a bit of that, that weight and that you know, sense of suspense, I guess, uh, because that part was really cool. So, yeah, an interesting tune. I do note that people have mentioned, uh, a couple folks have talked about the next track, Kids in America, as being a notable one, so I'll be curious to see what that one's all about when we come back for it. Do let me know what you think of this, and I will see you then. Peace.